Okay, so I'm just going to quickly lock this thing and then you hopefully you can see the four little knobs. Now they all go down fairly quickly, they're already all down, but as you can hear, the pump is still pumping, or sucking I should say, it's sucking air right now, or trying to develop a vacuum to close all the motors. Now since all the doors are already closed, in all likelihood those are okay. Uh, and then obviously there is the uh, trunk uh, for the uh, gas cap that is locked as well. Now I locked the trunk here uh, just so I could gain access to the system. The fact that it ran for such a long time indicates that there still is a problem. So what I like to do, I like to unlock everything. It's twice with the key, everything's unlocked. And the pump actually doesn't seem to run as long on the unlocking as it does on the locking, um, which may or may not be helpful depending on where the leak is. Uh, so anyways, you do is you take the uh, vacuum fitting off at the pump using a pair of pliers that sometimes helps spread the fitting to get it off. That doesn't work. Screwdriver can sometimes do wonders. So with the f vacuum off of the uh, with the vacuum fitting off of the pump, what I like to do is hook up a uh, separate vacuum hose like this. Just push it into place, and this is attached to my smoke machine. So what I do then is I just let it force smoke into the system. This ball here, when there's a extreme leak this ball will not be pushed down so the fact that it is not all the way down at the bottom tells me that there is a leak someplace uh, and I should be able to see smoke <coughs> with the windows down if there is a leak inside the door panel the smoke is able to come up through the um, glass rail here um, and should be visible again if that's where the leak is so you basically just monitor to see where smoke is coming from in the back, you look in the area where the gas cap is. So smoke shouldn't be coming out of here, uh, but if at all, it might come out in this area um, because that's where the vacuum motor is. So we'll just give it a little bit more time to let the smoke circulate in the system. There's smoke right there. Kind of hard to see. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera here, on the video. So it looks like this guy here is leaking. Let's see if I can grab my mirror. You can see the bubbling on the uh, boot on the actuator. Actually, what we'll do is we'll uh, that's the smoke. We'll reattach it. But we're going to go in the uh, locked position to extend the boot. You can hear the pump going for a longer period of time again. The boot has now extended. We'll wait for the pump to shut off. 
and then we'll reattach the uh, smoke hose. Smoke hose is attached. Turn on the system again. Now with the rod extended, there you go, I can actually hear it hissing. And you'll see a lot more smoke this time because that boot is in the extended position. Again, it's very difficult to see, but it's definitely smoking. You can probably see the smoke now much better. So this vacuum pod is broken and needs to be replaced. Yeah, you can really see it coming out now. Now you could have found this obviously without a smoke machine, but smoke machines can be helpful for this.